All right, good morning. How are you guys doing today? It's CAD Lab CNC. Yes, you know me. We wanna put these on our fourth axis and see if we can mill out a back plate that is at an angle. These vices are from Saunders Machine Workshop, as you know, NYC CNC. They make these over there and we really wanna see if they can go along with our application. These are beautifully made. These are just wonderful work pieces of art. So we're gonna add them into our fourth. We're gonna be using Lakeshore Carbide's drill and we're gonna be using another tool from Lake Shark Carbide, which is a thread mill. We don't have any speeds and feeds for those, but we're definitely gonna just whip them up and create them, or we're gonna give Carl over there at Lake Shark Carbide a special call and see if we could pick his brains on his tools. That should be cool. So on the last video, I said we would be making the weight to the brass pearl if we got 50 likes and everyone commented all gold everything. We didn't get 50 likes, we got 41 likes, but a bunch of people commented all gold everything and that was good enough for us. I'm just happy we got 41 likes on the video. Let's go. At this point, we're gonna be doing the last final piece to these all brass beautiful keyboards. Check this bad boy out. Oof. It's gonna be a half inch, 13 thread mill. Length of cut, 350 thou, four flute. We're gonna be calling up Lakeshore Carbide and trying to get some input on these beautiful thread mills. Some of the projects that we're involved in, this is the Atlas 65. It is coming out absolutely beautiful. Check this out. Got a little bit of polishing going on. It's crazy how light this thing is when you don't have the stainless steel mid, mid piece in there. This is the stainless steel mid piece. Goes right in the middle. This guy's gonna get polished up too. And look how small and intricate the badges are. All right guys, so here we go. We're getting ready to call the man, the myth, the legend Itself. Thank you for calling Lakeshore Carbide. To place an order, press one. To speak with Carol, press two. We're pressing two. Technical support, press two. Carl speaking, how can I help you? Uh, yes, Carl, how are you doing today? This is uh, Cad Lab CNC. Good, good, thank you. Uh, I just had a little quick question for you. I am going to be running a half inch by 13 thread mill today, and I was wondering if you could uh, give us any um, help on that or any information you could help us on. That way we can get this right. Sure. Uh, what material are you cutting? We are cutting aluminum, 6061. Okay, all right, and what kind of machine do you have? Uh, we have a Haas VF2SS. Okay. So, all right, you're going to be using a 2764 drill. Yep. And let me give you some feeds and speeds for that. Uh, I would say in aluminum, you could start at 1500 RPM. Uh, you can run that at 8 thousandths inch per tooth. Uh, it's got two teeth, so that's going to make it 16 thousandths per rev. So you multiply 16 thousandths times 1,500 RPM, and that's going to give you your feed rate. That's going to be 24 inches a minute. Oh, nice. I would start, a uh, conservative start place would be 4,000 RPM, and that can take that tool can start at three thousandths inch per tooth uh you multiply that times how many flutes it has it has four flutes so uh four times three thousandths inch per tooth chip load is going to put you at 48 inches per minute on your feed rate at four thousand rpm mm. and and i would take uh if you're going to take even passes um each pass being taking the same amount per side 
Uh, I would take it in six passes. Um, I think Fusion 360 divides it into even passes. Yeah. So I would go. I would go six passes for that. I'm so pumped to go ahead and just run these tools right now. Um, I'm going to be pretty much just plugging this in. Uh, since you made it plug and play and so easy to use these tools, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go to Fusion, plug in everything, and uh, we shall see how everything runs. I do wanna make you aware that we are gonna be doing a YouTube video on these uh, two tools because we have a very high profile job where we're gonna be finishing off a all brass keyboard. So uh, if you guys don't, yeah, it, it, it is. Um, we're super blessed to be able to do these projects like this. So if you guys don't mind, could we include you in, into the video and, you know, like tag you guys sure. below so everybody knows how great your tools are? Sure, absolutely. I appreciate that. No, no, no. I, I appreciate you and I appreciate all these amazing tools that you, uh, you make for the industry. Um, it's an honor to talk to you today, Carl. Well, thank you for the kind words. And, um, and as always, if you have any issues, give me a shout and I will uh, work through it with you. Absolutely. I appreciate your time. Thank you so much. And it is a complete honor to talk to this guy. He was an aerospace machinist for many, many years. And then he ventured off and started making his tools. I so support this company. I love every tool that we get from them. And it, it is a really big honor. Like I, I, I'm like so pumped that he even picked up the phone, you know, to talk to the owner of the company. Like, come on now, enough of the talking. Let's just run it, right? All right, guys, let me grab your attention here for a second. We have these vices set up, and we're going to do our actual first couple cuts so that way we can lay the pearl material down in those cuts and machine them precisely. Now, these cuts are exactly 60 thousands deep, and they're for a reason because we're going to be taking out a lot of material around the sides. Now, when I measure the actual vices on the fourth axis, they should be within five tenths of tolerance per Haas machines. That's what they're capable of doing. So let's get back to the video. Now here's for the final moment of truth.
Okay guys, so we have finished milling out this beautiful pearl weight using Saunders module vices. I highly recommend them. Saunders is a very, very brilliant man, and this is just another one of his good products that he has over there at the Saunders workshop. Guys, I love you. I'm not gonna do this out of brass right now because we have to actually gun it. We have a few projects we need to get out, and that's what we need to focus on. But at least we did it out of aluminum. I love you guys, and I'll catch you on the next one. Cad Lab out.